In 1990, Galoo Toys released a new line of action figures called Unifighters. The Unifighters were a unique combination of military action figures. To help sell this line, Galoo would come up with three gimmicks to help sell these toys. With the standard action figures, you could place a backpack on its back and transform it into a vehicle, either a jet, chopper, or tank. Each figure that transformed into a vehicle came marked 1 through 3. Buying all three of them, you could hook it together to make a bigger vehicle. Bigger sets were also released for kids that didn't want to buy one of each. They could rile the box, build a jet, a tank, a chopper, or the Great Combat Hovercraft. For even more fun, each vehicle will hook to a joystick-like controller. This would add much more fun to the toy line. Pressing the trigger, the toy would make a motor rumbling sound. And the buttons was even more fun, giving the toys machine guns and cannon blasting sounds. A sturdy hand grip was good for quick action play. Ready to attack. The Unifighters with backpacks that turn into one-man combat vehicles they can ride in. But that's not all. You can connect these vehicles to create master combat machines. The army vehicles join to make a tank. The marines unite to become a chopper. To pack even more power, put them all together and create the ultimate Unifighters fighting machine. Packing the power, power on the back. The Unifighters, part man, part machine, each sold separately from Galoo. For the figures, they were scaled and very similar to the G.I. Joe figures on the market at the time. It was clear Galoo was hoping to pick up some sales from the G.I. Joe fans, hoping they would add these to their collection. Overall, the figures are nicely done, but nothing special. The best part of this line is the transforming toys and how they all connect. They look great, even more when you have them all hooked together. The line was different and unique and should have been a huge hit for Galoo. Sadly, the line failed to reach with kids, and it was canceled with only one series being released. Today, the line is almost forgotten, with some of the figures going for about $10 each. However, most of the figures and vehicles go unsold, and ones that are on eBay are often listed way too high. The vehicles are the hardest to find, at least all three parts. And the giant box sets are even rarer to find, but they don't really hold any high dollar value. Overall, the line was great, and a lot of time and love went into it. But sadly, like most toy lines, it failed. Canceled long before it could have the time to really get in the faces of kids. A cartoon based on the toy line could have helped sales for sure. Well, that's a look at the forgotten toy line, Unifighters. Do you remember it? Let me know that and more in the comments below. And as always, thumbs up you like my content. Subscribe to the channel. We'll talk again soon. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>